All right, guys. Uh, so this is the. Just wanted to say, now that the season is football season is over for college, uh, the, ignoring the uh, bowl games and everything, I wanted to say my final thoughts on UCLA football to end the year. Uh, you know, it wasn't a great season, but it was a successful season. Um, if you're wondering, you also you noticed this hat. Uh, got a new hat here, actually. Uh, you'll see this in future videos more when I talk UCLA. Uh, found it. Uh, Found it at a shop, actually, really cheap. I was surprised uh, where it was, I mean, here in the Bay Area. So you'll see this hat in the future videos. A lot of, you know, the season, as I said, was a success because we had a winning record. You know, the goal was to get to a bowl game, and Rick Neuheisel had that in mind. You know, at Michigan, Rich Rodriguez wanted to get to a bowl game, but he failed. UCLA did it. They, they got there. It wasn't pretty. We had to overcome a lot of adversity with injuries. Uh, Kevin Prince was hard to break into because uh, Prince had a had that injury, and then even when he was back, he, there were still moments of inconsistency from him. But he's got a future with this team. Uh, also, we say farewell to Brian Price. Uh, he goes to the NFL as we as expected. This was probably going to happen anyway. Before we knew this before the season, so good luck to Price. I hope you're not a Patriot, Charger, Chief, Bronco, or uh, Cowboy. Just don't be one of those five teams, and uh, you'll be fine. <laughs> also, we're going to lose... Next year, we're going to lose a lot of people on defense, whether it's the Bosworth Twins or Reggie Carter or Al Alteron Werner, ATV. Um, Jerry Zariski, you know, the list goes down on and on and on. But the defense will be rebuilding. Could they be reloading? Maybe this defense is more talented than we think? No one knows. Only the Bruins themselves do. And what what's going to happen with the secondary? Because uh, I was concerned about the person who was complimenting the other side of Ultron Werner. Sheldon Price and Courtney Viney had their moments of inconsistency here and there. The one thing we do know on defense is Akeem Ayers will be a star, hope future star. Um, he was only a redshirt sophomore. Had a really good season, productive. Had a couple of defensive touchdowns this year. No, three defensive touchdowns this year. Uh, also, you know, was very clutch, uh, I think, when it comes to uh, defense as well. We still got to avoid those penalties uh, on the long run, but we had probably had the best second half you could ever have in college football by shutting out an opponent during our bowl game against Temple, and I'm, I'm really grateful for that. On offense, uh, the running back position will still be loaded. We even got a couple guys expected to come in who are will be true freshmen uh, this recruiting class coming up. So there, there will be a lot of running backs uh, loaded in the position. We also get a couple transfers and Josh Smith, who is a uh, Colorado wide receiver. He transferred here, so we'll get to see him, hopefully. He was a good kick return man uh, in Colorado. Also, we're going to see a guy named Joseph Faria, and he was a Notre Dame transfer. He'll be the tight end, maybe to take over Logan Paulson and Ryan Moya's spot. Uh, you know, those two will obviously leave. And then, now the biggest uh, other big concern is the offensive line. Uh, we know uh, Xavier Suafila will serve a Mormon mission. You know, that that's personal. You know, I'm fine with that. Yes, that's his personal life. I have to let that go, but... The offensive line is going to have a lot more struggles than I thought they would. You know, a lot of those seniors finished well, like Jake Dean and Nick Egbatani. But uh, still, the offensive line will be young. We might need a few junior college offensive linemen just to fill the short-term void. Uh, I know I don't. We don't. I'm not sure if Stanley Hosiak's returning or not. Uh, there's, there's probably a good chance he won't be with us again. Uh, but hopefully Eddie Williams, I think he was a junior college, I think he has another year. A uh, couple of those other guys on that offensive line will be a big factor, whether this offense will be productive or not. Kevin Prince has uh, had a very good uh, season once he played Oregon State. We did play the top tier of the Pac-10 uh, to start the season. It was, it was pretty hard, but this, this team overcame after the, stuff, the tough uh, start to the Pac-10 season. Kevin Kraft did what he could, you know, as bad as he was the season before. His legacy at UCLA is that he beat Washington twice, and he took away Stanford from a bowl game back in 2008. He actually led a miracle comeback, also beat Tennessee as well. 
in, in 08. But this year, he did come through against Kansas State, had that big pass to Terrence Austin, and he led the comeback against Washington this year as well. So I give Kevin Kraft at least the credit coming off the bench, leading the comeback against uh, the Washington uh, Huskies. So Kraft, uh, you know, he did okay for the job he had, and he got the game clinching first down against Temple. So as his final big play in college football. Hopefully Prince will be back for the uh, the season to be starting. Question is, will Richard Brehu come in? And we don't know about that quarterback position. Anything can happen. Uh, but also, you know, the defense will be, as I said, rebuilding. The whole Pac-10 almost will be rebuilding on defense. And we're going to have to rely on a good offense if we want to be successful next year. Will the offensive line have some junior college players as a short-term fix? Or, or also on defense, junior college players could help as well. We have a very brutal schedule next year. Um, you know, we, we have to play Kansas State and Texas on the road, and we host Houston, who I believe Casey Keenum is still there. So that's going to be a rough game. But before I go, I wanted to say a quick shout-out to uh, Dodgers for Life. I'll have his link in the sidebar. He's the other UCLA fan who hasn't gotten a whole lot of attention, so I wanted to give him a little bit of a you know shout out. Uh, you know, thanks for joining me on the season because I'm the only big UCLA fan making vids outside of him. So check him out if you haven't, and I want to hear from you typers and any people sub to me, whether you're a fan or not. Tell me what you think UCLA will need to do and for next season. Just don't say we're done because New Heisel's history and stuff. I, I don't want to hear that because I've heard that from sp specific people. You know who you are if you're watching this. Don't bother wasting your time typing the we're done stuff just because New Heisel's uh, third year is coming up. So I'll see you all later, and I will talk UCLA basketball as the season rolls on. I'll wait till I get back to school before I, I start talking about UCLA's basketball team. So. See you later, and I hope that their basketball season and football season will have a little bit more success as the seasons roll on, as mediocre as we are in the short term right now. See you all later.